Hello, in this video, we are going to look at getting started with the SAM projects. Uh, the first thing you will note is that once you've looked and you're on the course page, if you look to the left hand side, you will see under instructor information and above syllabus, SAM projects. So we'll give that a tap. And then that will bring you to this first introductory, introductory zone. Here is a, at the bottom, it says SAM projects. That's a description of what I'm going to cover in this video. Uh, in essence, kind of two key important facts about access information and tutorials. But if you click in the folder, you will see that same information and a link and links to those tutorials and a link to the SAM projects page. So let's take it from the top. The access instructions are pretty straightforward, but here's something you should note. Your username and password is not your topper email address and your topper email password. You have a new email that you'll be using to log in. That username is your first dot last with your three numbers at cis.wku. That's not a real email address, but it is your username for the course. Next, your initial password is the word please. So, taking those two bits of information, you're going to click on the SAMS project link and type it in here to log in. Before we move forward, something you should note. Each of the projects has an instructional video that goes along with it. The instructional videos are exhaustive and comprehensive. So if you follow through them step by step, you will get a good grade on the project, not the exam, on the project, okay? Now, I've been teaching this course for a little while, and of course people bump into things, but typically they are mistakes, and the mistakes came from where they were not paying close enough attention to the instructional videos. Just so we can see one, you'll notice that these videos are not the shortest Hello, videos Hello, welcome to this presentation. Um this video for PowerPoint Project 1, which we just saw, runs about 25 minutes, okay? So that's 25 minutes for the video, not to mention that there's going to be four or five minutes associated with getting logged into SAMS and doing that. So we're talking about a minimum of a half an hour. But these videos probably get a little longer as we go through it. If we look at the Excel project, which Hello, is near welcome the to this. end of the course we can see that this project is about 40 minutes long. So here's what I would recommend. Even though you're working alongside Dr. Cruz, who's an instructor for this course, you can expect to spend between 45 minutes to up to an hour or an hour and 15 minutes per project. So get started before the deadline. If you wait until the deadline and everyone is working diligently on the computer system, you're going to run into lags. You're going to run into network issues. And so what I suggest is that since you have a month between, you know, effectively around a month between when these projects are due and those due dates hit, you should work diligently on getting them done. And matter of fact, let's just pop over to the schedule real quick, our class calendar. And we can already see that the PowerPoints are due on the 23rd. So this is being recorded on the 31st. You've got 23 days to get those PowerPoints done. We're talking about five hours worth of work. But if you wait until the 23rd, you're not going to make it. The Word projects are due on the 30th. And the Excel projects are due on, the, on April 27th. So February 23rd, March 30th, April 27th. Let's get back to our SAM projects. We go into the folder, uh, and we're going to click on the link, and the link takes us to this login. Once we log in, it's going to say to us, do we want to go to SAM or to the study center? We want to go to SAM, and that takes us to this view here. So it starts off with our activity calendar. Then, I'm going to jump to February. 
you can see all the projects show up here, but I find this view confusing. So if you jump to the activity list, you'll see all of the projects listed out. Couple key points. On the left, we have the projects. Then we have a column that says the type and when it's available. And this is something you should think about. All your projects are all available right now. So don't wait until after the 23rd to start on the Word. Go ahead and just knock them out whenever you have a free hour or two and get this whole portion of the course finished early in the beginning. After that, we have the section you're in. And then this status says not attempted. So what does that mean? If I click on the PowerPoint, and I'm, PowerPoint 1, I'm going to tap it. It's going to tell me I need to download the start file, do some work, and then I can upload it back or submit it. Submissions. You have five attempts on each project. So if you turn it in and you don't get a perfect score, attempt it again. Make the changes. Upload it. And so we're going to hit start. Once we get there, we have some download instructions. We have the start file. And then we have any of the other files we'll need to get it done correctly. So then we download it. But here's the key point. After I'm finished, I come back to this exact same place, CIS PowerPoint 1, and then I upload my finished file. Okay? So get at all that. So the way this works is that I download the file and upload the file in the same place. And when I've got a file, I hit submit. And then when it's over with, it'll give me some results. Okay? So that's what the SAM projects look like. And just to take you back to where we started, it starts with you going and clicking on the SAM projects. Once you're there, you jump into that folder, tap the web page, and you log in with your first dot last three numbers at cis.wku, password please. You're going to change that password, and then... I think the best scenario is you have the video playing on your phone, an iPad, a laptop, on one device, and then you work on it on a computer. So what that looks like is if you have a phone, tablet, watch the tutorial video there, work on it on a desktop. If you have a laptop and you don't have those other devices, take your laptop to a lab, watch it on the laptop, sitting next to a desktop and work on the desktop. And if you have them open at the same time, you can see Dr. Cruz do something, you can pause it, and then you can work. I think that's the best way to accomplish this. So I hope this helps you get started with the SAM projects. If you have any questions about getting started with it, certainly shoot me an email. But I think if you follow these instructions carefully, you'll be able to get in and do this at your own pace uh, on your own.